So I'm going to start leveling the table and I took all my clamps and everything off and the idea is to trim this down so that it's even with the plane of the the bit and so I want to go through here and just get an idea of how flat it is so what I do is I take a just a block of wood and I put it under the bit and then I move the machine around and I check just real quick and notice my high spots and my low spots and I want to find my highest spot because that's where I'm going to zero the bit when I run my routine to flatten the surface and I also want to find my low spot so I know how much I have to take off from the high to the low to make the whole thing level now my my machine is kind of high here in the center so I'm going to remember that and I'm going to zero that Z to that spot and then over here it's the lowest and so I took the difference and I'm going to add just a little bit more and trim down the whole bed to that back level so anyway that's what I'm up to so far so here you can see I've got a half inch end mill on and I've set my X from 0 to 14.6 that's the extent that I'm gonna make the pocket on the table and the Y 0 28.4 to 0 so that's gonna be the size of my pocket and I figured that out by running around my bit and then writing down the numbers and my high and low spots I was gonna write here but I just I, I jotted it on the back Anyway, I'm going to go over to the CAD program and make a pocket for this. So to trim my table flat, I had to make a little pattern here. And the first thing I did is I came into VCarve Pro, and that's the software that I recommend. And you can look in my library to find it, more about it. And there's a website there too you can visit. Anyway, this is what I use. And in job size, you see I put in the size that I wanted my pocket which was also the size of the material. So 14.6 wide by 28.4 high. And I just put, you know, three quarters of an inch thickness. That doesn't matter because we're not using that feature. But uh, after I got my layout, I came in here and I did one pocket. And I drew, see this pink line? I drew that pink line that same size as the job size. I just went out to the extents. So I chose my line around the outside and I'm cutting 120 thousandths down on one pass and I'm using a half inch end mill. I'm using a half inch end mill. I'm just leaving the feed rate and the plunge rate the same. I could come down on the plunge rate. The feed rate's a little high too actually, especially for that machine. And then I apply and then it made this. Just calculate it and preview. So I, I canceled it, but you get an idea. It's just going to go the whole way on this board and flatten it out, take off 120 thousandths. And I like this VCarve Pro because what you can do is you can get estimates based on your speeds and feeds, like this scale should be 1. I don't know why that goes to 2. Maybe somebody can tell me. But it adds it up, and you can see 50 minutes and 46 seconds at what I have in here as far as my speeds and feeds. Now the rapids I'm only going 50 so I can change that. I'll change it a little bit you know. 50.53 um, and that was about right because I've, I did this in reverse and actually it took about an hour and seven minutes so it's off a little bit. 
that's it for the CAD stuff. And then just to make the G code, and I hit this button here, save tool path. And I save all the tool paths. So I output all visible tool paths to one file, even though there's one. I like to keep this on. I'm using Mach 3 in inches with arcs. And I just save it. And I save it over the network to the CNC machine that's in the other room. I have a name for it. It's called Gyro. And I save it. And then I open it and cut it. That's it. So really, this is my first cut. And I'm going to level the table. I've got it uh, zeroed out. It's going to start up here and pocket this entire table. It's going to take about two hours. I've got a half inch bit on it. It's going to step over 40% at a time. So a little more than half of the bit. So about an hour and 13 minutes. It said two hours and 20 minutes or something like that on my other screen, but I didn't have the settings right. But uh, yeah, about an hour and 13 minutes. Made a lot of dust. It almost looks like it's going like this, but it's an optical illusion. It's flat. Okay, on with the phone.